Do you guys like the NSX? Maybe you guys like Keichi Tsuchiya. Or maybe you're here because you like 18 scale resin models that are limited edition. Well, in today's video, we're gonna go over all three of those. You won't wanna miss this one, so buckle up and let's dive into this product review starting right now. What's up collectors, James with Model Cars Houston here and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do at least one video a week every Monday. This is for product reviews versus videos and everything in between. So if you're new to the hobby or trying to get into it, this is a great resource for all that information. But let's not waste any more time and get to the unboxing. So a little bit about the background of the NSX. In this case, this is an NSX R and it's an NA2 spec, which means that it comes equipped with a 3.2 liter engine as opposed to the 3.0 liter engine in previous generations. They come with six speed manual transmissions. Obviously all NSXs have the aluminum chassis. The 2002 model is also where the headlights were changed from the old traditional pop-up style to the more static style. And as you can see that this is a coupe and not a Targa top as well. So now that we've gone over a little bit of about the background of the NSX, from the model side of things, this is actually Keichi Tsuchiya's own personal NSX that one model replicated in an 18 scale. It's a resin model, not a metal body die cast. So these are resin plastic models. They're sealed, meaning that nothing opens. It's more for static display and the wheels don't roll or anything like that. So it just goes back to the fact that it's a static display model. It's more for putting it on your bookshelf, putting it at your dining room table when you're looking at it and eating, whatever you wanna do with it. It's just for showing it off. The special thing about this model is that it's actually only limited to 99 pieces. So. The one that I have here is actually number 55 of 99. For the base, it just comes with a black plastic base. It does have the little plaque for the Honda NSX R and the one model brand. They come equipped with acrylic cases as well. And this helps prevent any dust from getting to it and just protects the overall model. Now, jumping into the actual model itself, starting with the front, you can see the non pop-up headlights. Uh, the headlights, you can also tell the housings are painted white as well. It also has the vented hood scoop. And what's really cool, you'll notice that within the hood, you can actually see that it's got the factory spare tire. So this is a really awesome extra little detail that they put into this model. Oh my God! Wow! The body color of the car is actually a pearl white. This was actually special ordered from Tsuchiya himself when he ordered this NSX from Honda. You can also see the red Type R Honda emblem, the front lip, just an OEM style lip. The bumper is also different on these models as well. Moving on to the side, you'll see that the cabin top section of the NSX is actually painted the same body color as the car. So this is gonna be the pearl white color. You can definitely tell that the car has a lowered stance. It looks like it's got factory brakes, but slotted and drilled rotors. For the wheels, you'll notice that it's rocking the Model 5 wheels. These wheels are often typically found on a lot of NSXs as you can see here and here and here. So it is actually a fan favorite wheel setup that the NSX community desires. And Sutia himself even went with this wheel setup. And then moving on to the rear section of the vehicle, you'll notice the awesome NSXR spoiler, the tail lights, the red Type R badge, and you'll notice that on the tail lights for these, it has the amber circles for the turn signals, which is also different from the previous gen NSXs. It has a very, very nice and clean rear diffuser setup as well. And it definitely looks like it has an aftermarket exhaust system with the bigger tip diameter mufflers. And then if you pan over to the top, 
you'll start to notice the engine bay details which is also a very nice touch for these models it has a lot of the sponsorship logo decals on the rear window it has details of the defrost and i love how you can just see the details of the engine bay you can see the little sticker on the intake the red valve covers the alternator you can see all those little tidbits which is really awesome especially for a sealed model where you can't open it it's nice to have those little details and then moving on to the inside you'll notice that it has the bride racing seats it's got the steering wheel complete dash the shifter area console area all the little details are there it even has details for the seat belts i love the contrasting red interior it has the red carpet the red seats, and it accents very well with the rest of the black interior and the pearl white exterior another little tidbit that you'll notice on the front and back is the license plate it actually resembles Keichi Suchia's real life license plate number. There are several videos of DK himself driving his own vehicle. Um, he's always driving it on the toge. He's always got videos of him comparing this car to other cars. And I'll be sure to link those down in the description below so you can take a look at those videos and see this actual car in action. So question of the day for you guys. What did you think about this 18 scale Suchia Spec NSX R? Does it look exactly like his real life one of one? I know that his real car in real life have undergone a couple of changes. For example, it may have different lip, it might have different set of wheels, etc. But this is pretty accurate to how it looked at one point in time. So let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this model. Also, let me know in the comment section below if you have any other ideas for videos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Check out my other videos in this next slide. I'll see you in those videos or my next video.